incredible woman um, who is probably the most famous and the most important actor that ever was because she changed acting. Uh, she became extremely well known and famous all over the world. In the States she was a myth, you know, in New York. Um, we are talking in the beginning of uh, 1912, you know, 1910, and she acted in Italian all over the world and captivated audiences and, and became a goddess. She inspires actors still today. You know, John always says, rightly so, Marilyn Monroe had her picture in her bedroom. I mean, method acting was invented instinctively by Eleonora Duzza, who had no training. But she became herself on stage, not the character. She became herself on stage and lent herself to the characters. Um, really, it's a wonderful woman to get to know. The Humboldt Ballet it really is a very special company. I had the chance to understand the company this time more than the last time because I came for just a week. I already knew the ballet, I just rehearsed and danced and left. But this time I get to spend and live the company and live with the dancers, with the other artists and my colleagues. And it's very... Um, touching actually to work with the dancers here. But also, I'm a whole different woman, person, um, and at this stage of my life, to have the opportunity to have such a creation done, it's very special because I think it takes also a lifetime to get to the place where I am and where John is, um, and certain things you cannot really do when you are in your 20s or in your 30s because you are lacking artistic experience but you're also lacking life experience. Now, the, the atmosphere in the studio is beautiful. You know, we do have moments where it's very intense, um, you know, it can be sad, but we also have great laughs. And I also love to laugh. I mean, really, I, I love sharing Joy and with John, and John laughs a lot too, which is really nice. So the cha uh, you know, when you have some something created on you, on you physically, although everything is always hard, you know, dancing is hard. So no matter what you do, is hard. But of course, your body creates it too. So if John says, "Can you do this with your legs? Can you do that with your back? Can you put this movement and that movement together?" It might be very odd at first, but because you are, your body, it's the first body that does it in history, you know, that mo at that moment, you adapt to yourself. So in a way, it's easier to have things created on. It's a long process and a tiring process, but it's easier than having given a step and go, this is what it always has been, do it. I will have point shoes, I will have bare feet. I would have one point shoes and one bare foot. <laughs> <Yeah>. Everything. <laughs>